parliamentarians in the Pacific region have united to advocate for sexual and reproductive health and rights. Each respective member, as a member of his electorate, has that responsibility to work with the NGOs within his, his electorate, but more importantly, to address the issues of women and health services available to women. So that becomes a very important part to our advocacy program in this uh, committee uh, to effectively talk to um, a lot of members, as many members as possible, uh, to understand this responsibility and with the assistance of the government and also stakeholders in their respective districts, they must be able to make available, provide health services to women. The groundbreaking Moana Declaration Pacific MPs adopted in Fiji in August 2013 led to the strong endorsement of nations across the region at the 6th Asia-Pacific Population Conference. The Moana Declaration, in my understanding, is a substitute for the Fiji uh, priority statement. It was adopted as a result of the Bishop's vision uh, about the, the big wide blue ocean and uh, so we adopted that with the president of Fiji uh, supporting the importance from uh, HIV AIDS and he gave a very inspiring speech to that effect so with these two leaders within the Pacific we were all inspired and uh, as a result of that inspiration we came up with 18 uh, versions of the Moana Declaration. At the 6th APPC, 38 of 41 member states voted to adopt, support and promote progressive language on sexual and reproductive rights and comprehensive sexuality education. This was the first time they have been supported in such a regional document and the need to address discrimination, including on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. Uh, an issue in PNG. We cannot deny it anymore. The approach I took is to get the men and talk to them about how they can advocate on their sons so the sons it will be an open dialogue between father and son. And then I took the initiative to, you know, approach the mothers, to tell the mothers to approach their daughters. Therefore it will be easy on the mothers to approach the daughters and tell them uh eight seven eight is right at the doorstep. Congo of AIDS, not only AIDS, HIV, AIDS, and pregnancy, and the pregnancy, STDs, all this, so it is a must, we have to use those things. The Asian Forum of Parliamentarians on Population and Development recognises the key role of parliamentarians as champions for promoting sexual and reproductive health and rights. The Asian Forum of Parliamentarians on Population and Development will keep working to make sure our local parliamentarians are heard as nations negotiate at the Conference on Population and Development and throughout the post-2015 development framework. We are just as important as anybody else in this world. We have feelings and we have rights. We may be different, but we have a place in this world. People have rights to express themselves, the rights to religion, the rights to uh, all sorts of rights. So the term rights, right, is actually interpreted to apply to anybody within our society. <laughs> the Prime Minister of Samoa was actually the patron uh, of the Fafa Video Association. How he interpret rights is part of a person's right to express how they see themselves, in this case sexual orientation. As a parliamentarian, it is my role to be educative in, in many ways in support of such rights to freedom.